We've all experienced a bonk at some point on our bikes, running out of energy on a spectacular scale and uh, crawling or um, creeping. Hope that's if we even make it. Now this is a nasty experience and one we recommend you avoid. However, today I'm gonna purposefully set out to bonk. I wanna see what's going on in my body when I totally run out of energy. You see, myself and Hank have been dropped out here in the Brecon Beacons Mountains and we've got to ride home using our bikes and our wits. However, Hank is going to fuel properly. He's going to show you guys how to eat perfectly on a long ride. Whereas I, I'm not allowed to eat. And I'm a bit nervous about it because it's a solid ride. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it home. I'm not even sure how far I'm going to get. This, folks, is the ultimate bomb. So Connor, it's 9am and we've been dropped off in the middle of somewhere in South Wales in the mountains. Now 140k stands between us and home. Yeah, nice warm home. And Hank, it's not an easy 140 kilometers because we've got two really hard mountains at the start of this ride to get over and I haven't got any food to eat. No, to be clear, you cannot eat. No, I can't eat. I'm going to stay hydrated, but I can't eat. And right now, my blood glucose level is sitting at around 130 milligrams per deciliter after my breakfast this morning. I had a big bowl of birch and muesli. Um, and that's my last meal, really. Yeah, so I'm sitting around 100 milligrams per deciliter after breakfast. I've had a few cakes on the way here, but I'm allowed to keep eating. So I'm going to try and stick to around 60 to 90 grams of carbohydrate per hour, around a bar every 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully, that's going to keep my, uh, my glucose level in a nice level playing field. Right, we need to stop procrastinating and get going. That 140k ain't gonna ride itself, is it? No, let's get going. Come on, mate. Here we go. <laughs> to safety. Sorry. Here we go, mate. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> no eating for you. Sorry if I get hungry. You may have just heard us mention our blood glucose levels. And that's because throughout this ride, we will be doing some GCN does science by regularly taking our blood glucose levels measured in milligrams per deciliter. But let's take a deep dive into the science a little later. So unlike Connor, I'm fueling properly. So I'm looking at drip feeding carbohydrates throughout the entire ride. I'm looking at having a bar every 15, 20 minutes. Reason I'm not having them all at once because I don't want to have a big spike and then a big drop in glucose levels. So this will maintain some good energy levels. Right, I better get stocked up on food. I feel, I do feel sorry for Connor. Feeling? Feeling good now. Yeah. Feeling, as I I normally, feeling good. Yeah, as I normally would on the ride, really. Um, obviously, I've had my breakfast, had a good dinner last night, my last supper. Kind of what I'd have if I was on death row or yeah. to go to the electric chair. Yeah. Um, you kind of are in a way. I am, yeah. I'm riding towards my doom. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the time being, all is well. But it's not going to be well for long. So, we're going to track my progress and your progress few different tests throughout the ride so we're going to start a five minute power test shortly and repeat that every 25 kilometers see how our numbers change over the ride in conjunction with our blood glucose levels and also the all important subjectivity test how we're feeling how i cope with this ride yeah it's no, all ahead we're kind of hoping my watts and uh, glucose levels are going to stay quite constant where yours i mean we wait Drop. But I don't think it's going to look good. No. How far do you think I'll get? So I'm, I'm putting my money on around 80k. You're going to really start to suffer. What yeah, you? that's. I was thinking around the same. I think if I can get to 70k after there, we only think it's going to be tough going. Oh, mate! I'm praying for you, dude. I am praying for you. I'm praying for myself. <laughs> Glucose is our body's preferred source of energy for endurance activities. When we push the intensity of our efforts upwards of 65% of our VO2 max. Now this is because carbohydrates can be burned and used up when oxygen is in low supply, i.e. when you're out of breath, smashing it up a climb. 
our body aims to keep glucose levels in the blood constant, making sure our muscles and other cells in the body have continuous supply of energy. When we eat, our glucose levels rise and insulin is released into the bloodstream, acting like a key unlocking muscle, fat and liver cells so glucose can get inside. Or when we are exercising, our muscles use up the glucose for energy. When we haven't eaten for a while, our blood sugar drops. Our body instead produces a hormone called glucogen, which breaks down stored glycogen in the liver and muscles, replenishing our blood glucose levels. Okay, we're at the foot of Langenada Mountain. This is a fearsome climb in the uh, Welsh mountains and it's gonna be the scene of our first real test. Five minute power effort up the climb. I'm gonna go separately at one minute intervals. See what our power is and compare that to the rest of the ride, how, how my performance decreased and hopefully yours stays pretty constant. Hopefully, but um, I'm at the moment gonna tuck into my first bar. Are you feeling hungry yet? I am, I think I'm imagining it at the moment because I can't be hungry yet, we haven't been going long enough, but in my head I'm just thinking of what I've seen cafes and little shops and I'm thinking of food. Um, right, sun's out, so time to get derobed and up this mountain. Time to get serious. Tighten the old shoe straps. The best, just in. the best effort I'm gonna do all day. We're off. Hit lap. Oh, done. Oh. Hank's first effort. Let's go. Woo. 430 watts. Up, 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 up. Two and a half a sec. Two and a half minutes. Three, two, one. Ah! <sighs> Average about 400 watts. Savage. Right, I need to get some bars in now. Time to have some food. Okay, that's our first five minute effort done. Hank, I actually felt pretty good. I mean, that's how I would expect to feel after starting out a ride, feeling fresh, had the power in the legs. I managed 470 watts for the five minutes. And 470? Rate, yeah, 470 for five minutes. And my heart rate was around 172. So uh, That's pretty good power. Have you been training? Smart. I've been training, yeah. So I didn't put out quite so much power, but has to be said, I weigh a little less than you. I put out around 410 and I felt good, but those max efforts, they always seem to hurt. I hope though, I can sustain something similar. Anyway, I need to eat more, don't I? Wow. So we've hit the infamous tumble. This is a famous climb in Wales, many national champs and many greats of cycling have been made here. And it's now time for our second five minute effort. Are you ready, mate? Just about. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. We're about 40 k into this ride and I'm managing all right, but I don't know, I think this could be kind of a watershed moment now. Here we Let's go, see. mate. Let's give it a go. Good luck, I'm going. You too, go for it, mate. Second effort done, 20 watts off. Still feeling good. Time to put myself to the test for the second time today. Five minutes all out, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, five minutes. Ah. Oh goodness, I'm feeling it now. Okay, so we're about 50 kilometers in at the two hour mark on our ride and we've just done our second effort of the day. And my power was a bit down. I was around 440 watts, which is still good, only a 30 watt drop but it is a little less than I managed to begin with. What about yourself? Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good. I actually, I'm starting to ride into, into it a little bit more. I only lost 10 watts, so not as much as your 30. I'm hoping that that's gonna not drop off too drastically now. 
Um, uh, but yeah, we're, we're two hours into the ride, still got a long way to go. Yeah, and it's interesting because we're looking at the glucose levels and mine was actually quite high. Um, so I'm obviously relying on my glycogen stores quite a lot to get myself up that mountain. And I've got the glucose there to use and get up, you know, do the effort, but it's going to run out soon. I'm not eating. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go from here. No, honest. nor do I. And, uh, well, I'm afraid I've just had a couple of bars. I might even have a bit of carbohydrate drink now. Oh, I've got, I might fill that up a bit. Get some carbs in. Right, we need to get going. You, my friend, are on death's door. See you later. Oh, sh <laughs> One thing about descending is you don't need to eat to get down. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> the Dark Destroyer. Hank Stein to push on. I think he's got the bit between his teeth and he's getting a bit hyper too. Whereas I'm starting to kind of feel my legs out after each uh, little stop start bend. I'm going to be in for a hard little stint in this ride, I think. He's trying to break me now. Ah! Got, got that. My legs. Ale, ale, ale. Make it, make it, make it. So it's worth remembering that we have around 90 to 120 minutes of glycogen stores that we can use up doing vigorous exercise. After that, we've got to rely on food, like what I'm doing, consuming food, or what Connor's doing, and doing being, what Connor's doing and being totally reliant on those glycogen stores. I'm just hoping, for Connor's sake, that those glycogen stores last a little longer than 120 minutes. So do I. But I feel at this stage in the ride, the metaphorical fuel tank is slowly running out. And talking of uh, topping up glycogen stores. Dropping in again. Yeah, uh, I really need another bar. I just have one bite. I really need it. Off the swall, off the camera. I, I really need it, you know. It's nice. Oh, it's, nice. it's like chocolatey. Oh, I don't. Oh, don't oh, it's Whoa! I'm hyper. Whoa! Whoa! I'll have a bit of water. serious though how does it feel like me me kind of like you know fueling properly and you're not allowed to eat anything feels like I'm in slow motion and you're in fast forward <laughs> does it yes yeah, it's, it's so obvious the differences I just feel so sluggish and it's like I'm starting to struggle on little bits and bobs and you're just kicking on every single time <laughs> Oh, it's to cool, it. but I'm really enjoying it. The worst thing is, is you can't have anything to eat now. I know. All I can do is put my sun cream on and pretend uh, it's food. Hope there's some calories in there. Enjoy that water, mate. Okay, so I've just done my scan. We've had a little stop for food. Well, Hank stopped I for have. food. I've had water. Um, but we did a little checkup on our glucose levels. Now, it's interesting because mine is still relatively in the right place, but it has been kind of trending downwards. I've had two real big kind of dips now and it's spiked back up and considering I haven't eaten anything for five hours now I think that's pretty I'm pretty sure that's my glycogen stores kind of topping me up and um, so I'm definitely eating into them now. So how long do you reckon you got left? I think I've got another hour or two in me. Because you're going well I'm actually impressed 
with yeah. how well you're going. And uh, we haven't been sitting around, actually. We've been been on the tempo. Yeah, you were definitely pushing it. So I'm starting to flatten off now. I'm sitting around 140. So, uh, I mean, f for me, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I'm eating well. I've, I must have had 10 bars. You're doing a perfect ride, really. You're, you're on top. What I think I'm really surprised about is how much you, you need to fuel to stay topped up. And even through my racing, I've never topped up this much, but I wish I had. Anyway, we need to go because I just had a load of sugar and I don't want my insulin levels to uh, to kick in, so we need to get cracking. You, mate. I'm into the unknown now. I really don't know how it's gonna go Who from knows now Who knows what's gonna happen. Anything can happen. Be we'll careful. See. Yeah, we're taking it steady. Third climb, this says seat one, and it's the start of my third effort. I'm going to go in 20 seconds. 440 watts. I'm feeling now. I took everything I had just to do something half respectable. Suffering. I catch up with Hank and see how he fed. I'm definitely starting to eat into my glycogen stores now, and I'm feeling it. Now, it's not the end of the world when I do finally run out of glucose because I can turn to fat as an energy source. However, this takes a lot more oxygen in order to propel me forward on the bike as a fuel source. So my performance will be significantly impaired. I'll be able to limp home, but it won't be anything special. And I'm beginning to feel that drop off in performance now. So Connor, we completed our, first, our third test. Yeah. How do you feel? Really, really starting to feel it now, actually. Yeah. Having to concentrate quite a lot. Legs are shaking. Don't have the same energy. Don't have the same power. My last five-minute test only managed three seven eight. Compares oh, the four. Yeah. So big drop in performance. Not off a cliff yet. I'm still kind of holding my own. But yeah, I'm seeing those those numbers go down. Yeah. Like you can, I can tell in your in your language and your your demeanour now, you're starting to lose it. When myself, fully carved up, mate, still got the zip in my legs, average 405, haven't lost much at all. Um, but I've started to rub it in. But I'm gonna be here for motivation, mate. You got this. Yeah. You got this. Oh. The bonk is near. It's you coming. got this. <laughs> Fight! Fight, Connor! Come on! <laughs> Can you feel every pedal stroke? Yeah, literally feeling every pedal stroke. Well, you're doing well, mate. So we're 92K in, we've done 340. I've had a mountain of food and three bidons full of carbohydrate drink and Connor has yet to eat for six hours. How are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling pretty bad now. Yeah, yeah. you're looking pretty ropey. Just feeling lightheaded. Um, no, not really lightheaded, just a bit kind of spaced out. Yeah. Um, just haven't got anything on the climbs anymore. I'm just kind of hacking, really. And uh, we just stopped and checked our glucose levels. And I thought I'd be really starting to fall off a cliff. It's quite surprising, actually. I'm still at 126. Oh, so, so I'm at 118. I'm holding quite steady, but yeah. but you haven't dropped off yet. 
I'm not having the peaks. If you look at my kind of data, it's not you know, having those super high peaks I was earlier in the ride and it's starting to kind of level off. And then the whole pattern is kind of trending downwards, which I think is a sign. So we've got 50k to go. Yeah. Let's see if it drops. Otherwise, you're just going to be an unreal human being. It's a camel of glucose storage. A camel of glucose storage, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, come on, then. So we've gone off the bridge, back into England, they're on the home stretch, and actually, strangely, I feel really good. Oh, I don't get that. You haven't eaten for over six hours. I don't know where it's come from. I was feeling pretty low when we stopped a second ago, but suddenly, out of nowhere, I feel great again. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling with it for the time being, but... Are we going to have a crash on the horizon? I don't know how long this is going to last for. Glucose camel. I must have had a lot of calories today. I'm getting to the point where it's time to call it, I think. Oh. Oh. oh I feel bad now. You feel it when you stop. It's lower. I had a big spike an hour ago when I was feeling good. Um, but now it is dropping quite a lot. Give me, give me a bonk face. Hold on, you ready? Right, let's get going. Otherwise we'll be here all day. I think a five minute effort will finish me now. I very much hope so. You've been going too long. This is it. Showdown. The last effort to finish it off. What have I got left after depleting myself all day? Ah, I feel terrible, but I've got a bit left to do with my back. I'm going to sit on your wheel and just try to enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Do you want to count me in? Right. I mean, it's not going to be spectacular. Beep! 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 Fight! You got this! I'll try my best, but oh, I've got to feel nothing. Oh, I was so close to home, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back now. I was off a massive cliff. I was 327. So oh, wow. Over, over 150 down on my first effort. So that's a solid, that's a solid drop there. I was, I was going as hard as I can. But I wasn't like, I just couldn't go any harder. I was just like battling against an invisible force. <laughs> right, let's get you home, mate. You've yeah. done well. I've just got the bit between my teeth now because we're so close to home. Yeah. I just want to get back now and see what- I can't what... believe you've done so long without eating. Would not recommend doing this. Would not recommend doing this. Agnoel confession. Hit me! I've bonked! No! Yeah. Yes! I've bonked. He's bonked! That's it. Literally with 2k from home. I'll throw it in the towel. Oh, mate. There you have it. Hungry. That's it, I'm bonked. I'll make it home. I'm going to make God, it home. No machine. I'm going to make it home out of pure stubbornness. But this is it for me. This is the bonk. Oh. He's done well, to be fair. I would not have guessed he would get 140k in. And only now say he's bonked. So fair play to Connor. What a ride. I'm not have to blame for myself because this was my idea. 
don't actually know if I've got the energy to go to the takeaway in queue. I think I'm just gonna have to go over delivery. Yeah. Oh. So we've made it back to Bath 140K later, full of fuel, zero fuel from the middle of, uh, well, absolutely nowhere in South Wales. How are you feeling? Because you've done incredible. I didn't think you were going to last this long. I'm going to be honest with you, I feel absolutely <laughs> dreadful. I just feel shattered. It's going to be a, an effort just to get home from here, I think, back uh, just to walk back to my house. But are you surprised how you felt? I am surprised because I thought I'd hit the wall sooner. I thought I'd drop off a cliff sooner and I thought I did not think I'd make it back to Bath. I did not think I was thinking about taxi companies to ring. Mm. Um, so it's surprising in a way. I think the point where, when I got to the point when I knew I was my performance was dipping, that went on longer than I thought actually. I thought I'd get to there and then I'd just drop off. And I think what it is is just I am an ex professional racer and I've been riding my bike my whole life. So that that's still there. I'm still relatively fit. Um, I think if it wasn't for that, um, and I just went off and attempted this, you know, if I was getting into cycling or something like that, and went off and didn't eat, it would have happened a lot sooner. Yeah. And that's no kind of, um, that's not looking down on anyone saying that, it's just um, my body was kind of trained for this over years, so I could kind of cope with it. But if, if you weren't, then, oh, you'd be feeling how I'm feeling a lot sooner, yeah. and it would be not a fun experience that I would not <laughs> recommend in any way. So there you have it. Don't do this at home. And I actually feel pretty good, but I'm well fueled. So, yeah. Right, guys, if you, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comment section below and how you thought Connor got on, because I thought he did pretty well. Right, time for food. Yeah. So I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. You I'm should be. So I'm, <laughs> Solid effort, dude. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Here we are. Mmm. How's it taste? Oh, so, so good. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Best meal I've had. Hands down, best meal. <laughs> best meal I've had. I'm a bit busy, but I'll see you later. <laughs>